the goddess Gaia, her origin, career, and demise. In ancient mythology, Gaia was one of the primal gods. Her name means Earth. Her consorts included her son Uranus, heaven, Pontus, sea, Aether, air, and Tartarus, hell. Her offspring included the Titans, the mighty ones, and the Gigantes, the giants. According to the opening verses of the Septuagint, the Greek version of the Holy Bible, in the beginning God created the heavens, Uranus, and the earth, Gaia. The Septuagint further reveals how, after the great flood, the primal gods begot a mixed race. The Nephilim, the giants, were on the earth in those days. These were the mighty men, titans, who were of old the men of renown. The Creator placed the primal gods in authority over the early nations of men. The Septuagint calls them angels. When the Most High gave to the nations their inheritance, when He divided mankind, He fixed the borders of the peoples according to the number of the sons of God, that is, the primal gods. When the primal gods failed to rule the nations with justice, the Most High God passed a sentence upon them. I said, You are gods, sons of the Most High, all of you. Nevertheless, like men, you shall die and fall like any prince. Thus the Most High God has thrown the primal gods into Tartarus, to await their final judgment. God did not spare angels when they sinned, but cast them into hell and committed them to chains of gloomy darkness to be kept until the judgment. For this reason, all those who worship Gaia or some other minor god risk falling under judgment. Give glory to the Most High God. In the beginning, before mortals were gifted fire, before Zeus and the Olympians, or Kronos and the Titans, before the creation of the earth, there was nothing, nothing but the great void known as chaos. And who was chaos, you ask? Well, she was the conscious void of nothingness before all matter came into existence. She was the first immortal. She was the beginning. One moment chaos was still, but in the next she began to quake. The roar of the rumbling void grew larger and larger. Ripples of energy were constantly released as all of existence shook. But suddenly everything stopped, and the void became silent. Then there was a flash, an enormous explosion encased the void and blasted outwards. And emerging from that explosion was the first generation, the Primordials. This was the beginning of gods and goddesses, the beginning of epic heroes and ferocious creatures, the beginning of Greek mythology. First to emerge from chaos was a dark-skinned woman covered in plants. She had a large bosom and green hair filled with thorns. This woman was Gaia, the primordial goddess of the earth. 
a moment after her emergence, 